tare assalamu alaikum da fatan an waye gari lafiya sashin Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mitoci 49 da 41 ku a shafin mu na BBC hausa.com a cikin shirin namu ne za ku ji cewa yayin da ake kasa da mako guda a gudanar da zaben shugaban kasar Amurka Kamla Harris ta sheda mako ya bayanta cewa suna da zabi tsakanin yanci da kuma hargitsi yan jam'iyyar Republican sun mayar da martani ga kalaman shugaba Joe Biden wanda suka ce ya bayyana masu goyen bayan Donald Trump a matsayin tarkace a Nigeria gwamnonin jihohin arewacin kasar sun ce sun dauki matakan bai daya na magance matsalolin da suka addabi yankin abuwa da aka tattauna aka dauki matakai na gaggawan da za a magance musamman na farko a kan harkan tsaro din da kuma matakai da aka dauka za a dauka na bai daya na dukkan jihohin saboda kar a dauka anan abarcin a jamhuriyar Niger an fara samun saukin farashin kayan abinci a kasuwanni wannan kwana goma karshen na wata oktoba kudin ci maka na ci gaba da dan sabka bambancin ta wakar shekara ta bana mun samu ruwa yadda abin da muke tsammani ma to amma kafin waɗannan da ma wasu rahotannin sai na hara da karantu maku labaran duniya suna na Arabiya to kabarin ka yayin da ake kasa da mako guda a gudanar da zaben shugaban kasar Amurka Kamla Harris ta sheda magoya bayan ta a Washington cewa suna da zabi tsakanin yanci da hargitsi da take jawabi a daidai wajen da Donald Trump ya sheda magoya bayan sa cewa su yi zanga zanga a shekarar 2021 Madam Harris ta bayyana wa ta bayyana abokin karawar nata na jam'iyyar Republican da wanda ba daidai yake ba kuma ya kosaye ramuwa about whether we have a country ta ce zabi dai tsakanin samar da ke da yanci ga amurkawa ko kuma mai cike da hargitsi da rarrabuwar kai kwamitin yakin neman zaben Harris ya bayyana wannan taro da mafi girma wanda ta taba halarta wanda mutane sama da 75 suka halarta shi ma Donald Trump a wajen yakin neman zaben sa a jihar Pennsylvania ya nana ta kudurin sa na rage hawhaw farashi da dakatar da abin da ya kira da mamayar baki yan jam'iyyar Republican sun yi gaggawa amfani da damar mai da martani ga kalaman shugaba Joe Biden wanda suka ci an ji shi yana bayyana masu goyen bayan Donald Trump a matsayin tarkace shugaban da Amurka ya soki kalaman da wani mai wasan barkwanci yayi a wajen yakin neman zaben Donald Trump inda yayi shagobi akan tsibirin Puerto Rico an ji shi yana cewa tarkacen da yake iya gani shine taron magoya bayan Trump din Kocin kolin Amurka ta yi watsi da bukatar Robert F K Kennedy ta neman a cire sunan sa daga takarar kada kure a ko kuma takarda kada kure a manyan jihohin Michigan da kuma Wisconsin Mr Kennedy dai ya janye daga takarar shugaban kasa a watan Augusta bayan da ya mara Donald Trump baya ofishin yakin neman zaben shi na ganin cewa kasantuwar sunan shi akan takardar ka iya raba kuru'un dan takarar Republican to labaran duniya na zo maku ne daga nan BBC mai kata cikin gida ta Amurka ta yi gargadi kan abin da zai biyo baya idan ko kuma mai kata harkokin wajen Amurka ta yi gargadi kan abin da zai iya biyo baya idan Isra'ila ta dakatar da ayyukan hukumar yan gudun hijirar Palestina ma yayin da ake ci gaba da bukatar neman kai a gaje a arewacin Gaza mai magana da yawan ma'aikatar Matthew Mila ya ce dokar ka iya yin tasiri kan manufofin Amurka sakataren jihar na majalisar dinkin duniya ya rubuta wasiƙa zuwa ga Prime Minister Isra'ila inda ya tana sa dokar da ta yi tanadi hakkin samarwa mutanen da ke yankin kayan bukatu mai magana da yawan sakatare janar din ya ce wasikar ta tana masa ne da dokokin kasa da kasa the secretary general emphasized that onwa is the principal means by which yace sakatare janar ya sake jidda da cewa hukumar ita ce babbar hanyar da ake kai a gajin da ake bukata ga yankin palestina wa Shugabalin shugabalin rin Venezia na kasar Spania ya ce an gano ga waki bayan da mamakon ruwan sama ya janyo ambaliyar ruwa a yankin Carlos Mazan bai bayyana adadin garokin ba kuma inda kuma inda aka gano su tunda farko dai an bada rahoton cewa kallon mutane bakwai ne suka bata 
Schools have been closed and transport has been cancelled. The rescue effort has continued. Kumasira Komitin ya in neman zaben Harris dai ya ce wannan ne taro mafi girma da ta taba yi wanda mutane sama da 75 suka halarta ga rahoton bada masi Abdul Qadir Mukhtar Kamala Harris ta bude jawabin nata ne da tunatar da Amurkawa zabin da suke da shi nan da mako guda inda ta jaddada cewar ko da yasa zabi yanci ko kuma su zabi ta zoma ta bukace su da juya baya ga abin da ta kira wasan kwaikwayo da kawo rabuwar kai tsakanin Amurkawa Ms. Harris ta ce an dade Amurka na fama da matsalar rabuwar kai da rashin alƙibla domin haka lokaci yayi da za a kawar da wannan mummunar dabi'a ta gargada Amurkawa akan zaben Donald Trump a matsayin shugaban kasa One week from today you will have the chance to make a decision that directly impacts your life ta ce nan da mako guda za ku samu damar yanke hukunci da zai shafi rayuwarku da rayuwar iyalinku za kuma ku doki matakin da zai tantance muku makasan nan da muke matakar gauna wata gil wannan ce ƙura'a mafi muhimmanci da za ku kada a rayuwarku domin kuwa wannan zabe ne tsakanin ko dai samar da kasa mai cikakken yanci ga kowane dan kasa ko kuma samar da kasa da za ta shiga ga kashin mulkin masu tarzoma da rarrabuwar kai a tsakanin al'umma ruled by chaos and division Anasa gangamin a Pennsylvania Donald Trump ya jaddada alƙawarin da yayi na rage hawhawar farashi da kuma hana kusan baki a cikin Amurka Rahotan da bada masi Abdul Qadir Mukhtar ya hada mana kenan to a Nigeria gwamnatin jihohin arewacin kasar sun ce sun dauki matakan bai daya na magance matsalolin da suka addabi yankin gwamnatin sun ce sun cimma matsaya a taron da suka gudanar a Kaduna kan yadda za su tunkare matsalolin tsaro da tattalin arziki da suka addabi yankin da matsalan lantarki da ake fuskanta da kuma daukar matakan magance su ga garin bayanin da gwamnatin jihar Yobe mai malabu ne yayi wa abokin aiki na Yusuf Tijjani kowa sun dai halin tsaro rashin tsaro da ake ciki da kuma ta barbarewan tattalin arziki musamman kuma ai abin da yanzu muke fama da shi rashin mawutan lantarki da addabi dukkan jihohin arewan so wannan shine abubuwa da aka tattauna aka dauki mata kai na gagga wanda za a magance musamman na farko akan harkan tsaro din da kuma mata kai da aka dauka za a dauka na bai daya na dukkan jihohin saboda kar a dauka anan a barcan kai batun matsalautar lantarki a wannan yanki na arewacin najeriya akwai tunanin da kuke yi ne na samar da wata kila wani tsari na bai daya cewa ku gwamnatin jihohin Arewa ku samar ma yankin Arewa wutar lantarki mai makon dogaro da gwamnatin tarayya da kusan yankin ke na samun wutar lantarki eh to ai dole ne shine yana daga cikin dawalin abubuwa da muka duba akan ganin harkan wutan sannan akwai kwararru da aka sa za su duba wanne za mu dauka akwai maganar sola akwai maganar wasu dai dabaro da za a yi na ganin cewa kuma bai bai yiwa dauke gaba daya daga gwamnatin tarayya saboda ai akwai akwai rubun arewan a ciki baya da za a ce mu dauke sawu mu koma arewa mu ce za mu bar wancan ba zai yi ba dole ne mu hada duka mu ga yadda za a inganta harkan wutan lantarkin nan ya excellency wasu na ganin kamar kan gwamnatin arewa ba hada yake wa shi yasa ma ba a cin magaci a abubuwan da ake idan aka kalli jihohin kudu za ci kansa hada yake na akwai hadin kai sai dai kawai magana da muka yi wanda shi yafi inganta shine magana ai abu bai da da matsalolin nan iri daya ne to me za a yi wanda bai daya wanda zai zabarar da arewan musamman ma harkan tattalin arziki da tsaro ilimi 
da kuma noma so wannan abubuwa ne da duka kowane jiha ka je matsalolin haka ne musamman maka mun arewa maso gabas da kuma nan yankunan arewa maso yamma inda matsalolin tsaron ya gawurta sosai so wannan duka kaman duhun hazo ne kowanne sai dai ka ce can yafi nan nan yafi can ka duk haka ne magana hadin kai gwamnonin arewa suna da hadin kai shi yasa muke da shugaba gwamnon gombe shine shugaban gwamnonin arewa kuma duk ka ba wani gwamna da muka ji wanda bai yi masa mu baya ba ko kuma baya tare da shi saboda haka ne muka ga cewa mene ya kamata mu dauki matakan bai daya mu magance wa annan matsaloli da suke addaba mu wani alwashi za ku ma al'umar arewa cewa irin matakan da kuke kullo da su za su ka gagaci na sauka kama al'uma irin radan da suke ciki na matsar rayuwa ai to ai shi yasa a lokacin da aka tashi da wannan taro chairman din yayi ya gudanar da jawabai wanda ya ba da tabbacin abubuwa da aka tato na din nan za a bi su sawo da kafa a tabbatar cewa an aiwata da su ba wai magana ne ne lebe baki ko kuma an yi taro ne haka kawai an tashi ba tare da za a bi bi baya a ga menene aka yi menene ba ai ba al'umma za su yi hakuri kuma a yi addu'a a ƙasa saboda shi duk abin da ake ba mu da wata ƙasa da za mu ce na mu ba Najeriya ba sai saboda haka din kuma ba wani lokacin da za a ce wannan lokacin shan wala ne wannan lokacin jin dadi ne gwamnatin jihar Yobe mai mala buni kenan to yayin da aka shiga mako na biyu da fadawa matsalar wutar lantarki a jihohin da ke arewacin Najeriya wani bangare da ke fuskanta hadari shine na kiwon lafiya hukumomin lafiya da ke lura da sashen magunguna sun ce ana fuskanta hadarin lalace ruwa sa allurai da ba a iya ajiye su a ko ina sai cikin sanyi kuma hakan zai iya haifar da matsala ga maran lafiyar da za a yi wa allurar masu ciwon sukari to idan ka bashi maganin da ya mutu kaga sukarin sa ba zai sako ba to kuma wannan zai iya sa ya suma in tazo da kare kwana ma ya mutu gaskiya to sai a biyo mu a shirin mu na hantsi domin jin karin bayani har yanzu dai muna Najeriya inda a jihar Kano har yanzu tsugunna bata kare ba duk da kammala zaben kananan hukumomi tare da rantsar da sabbin shugabannin saboda rikicin shari'a hukumar zaben Kano ta ce jam'iyyar NNPP ce ta lashe duk shugabannin kananan hukumomi 44 da kansiloli 484 to sai dai har yanzu ba a rantsar da shugaban karamar hukumar kun butsa ba duk daya daga cikin yan takarar kujerar ni ya garza ya babbar kotun jihar saboda sauya sunan sa da wani abinda yasa kotu ta hukuncin da ake ganin shine ya hana rantsar da sabon shugaban daga Kano ga rahoton Zaharuddin Lawan ana gobe zaben shugabannin kananan hukumi a Kano wato ranar 25 ga watannan na Oktoba ne wata babbar kotun jihar ta yi hukunci bayan Ali Musa dan Maliki na jam'iyyar NPP ya kai karar jam'iyyar tasa da kuma hukumar zabe gaban babbar kotun saboda sauya sunan sa da Abdullahi Gali Shitu a matsayin wadda zai yi takara kuma bayan kotu ta saurari ko na bangare ne sai ta yi hukunci da ya warware duk wani sauyi da aka yi tare da tabbatar da shi Ali Musa dan Maliki a matsayin dan takara kuma haka aka shiga zaben ana jana'in jaka tsakanin mutanen biyu sannan bayan an sanar da sakamako ne aka rantsar da shugabannin ba tare da rantsar da na kubutsa ba barista Jazuli Mustafa shine lauyan wanda ya shiga da karar ya nuna rashin jin dadin su da matakin to gaskiya ba mu ji dadi ba a bisa wannan mataki da aka dauka na bijirewa umarnin kotu saboda bai yi musu dadi ba na farko su kansa sun ki su bashi certificate na cin zabe sannan su kuma masu alaki rantsarwa sun ki su rantsar da shi saboda wanda suke so din kotu ta riga ta yi notifying takarsa su dai yanzu ba su isa su rantsar da wancan ba saboda haka shi kuma namu yanzu sun ki su rantsar da wanda nake fada maka ba za fa mu bar abin nan haka ba dole ne za mu dauki mataki irin na shari'a domin ladabtarwa ga dukkanin wanda ya bujire umarnin kotu tun dai bangaren Abdullahi Gali Shitu wanda shine jam'iyyar NPP ta ce ta tsayar suka dauka kakara game da hukuncin babbar kotun barista Shamsu Ubala Jibrin shine lauyan sa ba za mu magana akan ra'ayin mu dangane da daidai ko rashin daidai din hukuncin ba domin mun dauka kara already to the quarter field abin da za ka sani shine a ranar da aka yanke hukuncin mun dauka kara kuma mun shiga da roko zuwa ga wannan kotun cewa ta dakatar da zartar da wannan hukuncin nata kaga kenan in ka shigar da wannan roko a gaban kotu to ba a da damar da za a ji a zartar da wannan hukuncin domin jami'a dai ta ba da hujjoji da take nuna 
cewa shi gali ba sa shi an yi clearance din sa an tantance shi shi akai a fami tun mun yi attachin wa yannan takaddun sannan kuma sunan sa aka kai cancel saboda haka jami'a ita ta san waye ta tsayar ita ta san wanda ya cancanci kuma ya tsaya mata wannan babbar kotun jihar da ta bayar da umarnin da irin ta ce ta bayar da umarnin cewa hukumar zaben jihar Kano su gudanar zaben kananan hukumomi bayan hukumar ta kalubalanci umarnin babbar kotun tarayya da ya hana zaben nayi kokarin jinta bakin ma'aikatar shari'a ta jihar Kano wadanda sune suka jagoranci ransar da sabbin shugabannin kananan hukumomin dan jin makomar karamar hukumar ta kumboso wanda kawo yanzu kusan ayya cewa ba ta da shugaba duk kuwa da cewa an yi zaben kuma an ayyana jam'iyyar NPP da cewa ita ce ta yi nasara amma al'amarin ya ci tara ranar 31 ga watannan da muke ciki ne bangaren da ake karar za su koma kotun kasa wato kotun da ta yi hukunci dan a saurari rokon su na a jingine hukuncin Zaharaddin Lawan BBC Hausa daga Kano a Nigeria to yanzu karfe 7 ne saura kwata agogon Najeriya da Niger shi da saura kwata agogon GMT da Ghana rabi a tuka barran ka ciki gabatar muku da wannan shiri daga nan sashin Hausa na BBC za ku ma ku iya sauraron mu kai tsaya shafin mu na internet wato bbchausa.com inda za ku karanta labaran da muka wallafa muku nan gaba a cikin shirin zamu sake koma Najeriya za kuma mu kama ku labarin wasanni to yanzu kuma bari mu nufi jamhuriyar Niger inda a jihar Maradi aka fara samun saukin farashin cimaka a kasuwanni hakan na da nasaba da yadda dama na ta kyau aka samu albarkatun guna masu yawa hukumomi ayyukan noma sun yi kira game noma da su hakurin jiran tsarin gwamnati na sayen kayan amfanin gunar su a tattaunawar su da cima ila isufu malam mustafa mumini jami'in da ke kula da bangaren noma a ma'aikatar gidan guna ta jihar ya yi kira game noman rani da su matsakaimi don akwai ruwa sosai da za su ba su damar gudanar da ayyukan noman rani ba tare da wata matsala ba wannan kwana goma karshen na wata oktoba kudin ci maka na ci gaba da dan sabka shi dai ne muka muka fahimta to me ke bambancin wannan damu na dawo da ta shude tabara to abin da ke zahiri ana ganin shi bambancin ta waka shekara ta bana mun samu ruwa yadda abin da muke tsammani ma saboda muka doki post cikin da ke muke bibiya ta man da shi da guda ne kadai bai kai ruwan da ya samu na bara ba kuma bambancin galibin su ya yi milimita 100 tsakanin bara da bana in muka doki post cikin da ke gare mu wanda ya samu ruwa bana ya samu kamar kimanin milimita 225 har 1000 kenan ruwan sun yi ƙarfin bukatun mu na na damuna kuma post cikin da bai samu ruwa diya ba a cikin jihar mu shine da milimita 445 kuma bambancin ta da mot shekara bara an samu takaitar bullar kwari dake ba shukokin muhara zamu ci ruwan sun taimaka su takaita wannan banna ta ta kwari dake zawa busan busan shukokin kuma shekara bana ban samu inda aka samu ruwa sun tsaya ba ko ta kwata ce an yi samu sati biyu sati uku ba samu ruwa ba shekara bana ban samu su ba ban samu shi ba kwari kamar in aka kwatanta da shekara ta wuce yaya magana noma rani duba da yadda kuka ce ruwan saman da aka samu a wannan shekara sun yi wa sosai to noma rani ban Allah ya sa eh an samu ruwan samu da yawa kenan aka tona akwai akwai ruwa da yawa kasa kullurar ruwan shi mai sun cika kuma inda ba aiki ba da ruwan shi an ke aiki ba eh wasan sun san cin gurbi inda ruwa ke gudanawa sun gudana da kyau kina abin da ke da kwai yanzu kina zama mano marani a kama jiki a bozare a samu a kama mano ruwan suka suka sabka gare mu mu samu mu ci amfanin su matsawan mun yi aiki ruwan akwai su wadata ce sun biya mu bukata ya Allah yadda to ko akwai wasu shawara waje ko gargadin da za ku ma mano ma to shawara da muke ba mano ma shine gwamnati ta yi alƙawarin za ta sayanci maka gare su shi karin hali sai ji mure kadan dan lokaci kadan kan gwamnati ta zo sayen wannan ji maka da ke a hannun su in gwamnati ta sayi a hannun manomi zai yi samun sakamako da ya je kasuwa ya saida ita kasuwa an saida mata riba ce ake nema 
shi kuma gwamnati ba riba yake nema ba manomin yace riba yace an hwanan abin shine kokuwa da gwamnati ke yi ayi karin hali a samu a jimure har a samu shi a gare su kar a zuci in kasuwa za a samu abincin in aka samu shi a kasuwa shi manomin bai ce bai ce an hwanan koyin bai ci riba koyin ba kuma muna saran abin ba zai dauka lokaci ba za a fara wannan tsarin da aka aka sa a gaba in Allah ya Malam Mustafa Mumini Jami inda ke kula da bangaren Numa a ma'aikatar gidan gona ta jahar maradin Jamhuriyar Niger. To har yanzu dai muna kan batun noman amma wannan kara a Najeriya inda kungiyar tarayya Afirka wato AU da ma'aikatar Numa ta Najeriya ke gudanar da wani taro a Abuja babban birnin kasar dan kafa kasuwar nan zamani na dabbobi a wasu kasashen nahiyar da nufin samar da sauye sauyen da zasu banka su harka kiwon dabbobi da kasuwancin su dukkan a wani kokari da kungiyar ke yi na inganta kanuma a yankin na Afirka Abdul Salam Ibrahim Ahmed ya leka zauran taron ga kuma rahotan sa Taron nayi ni hudu ya tattaro jami'an hukumar kula da albarkatun dabbobi ta tarayyar Afirka wato AU da wakilan ma'aikatun Numa da sauran masu ruwa da tsaki a harkar kiwon dabbobi da kasuwancin su daga kasashen Afirka da dama Musa Ahmad Jama'ari shugaban shirin na inganta harkar kasuwancin dabbobi a Najeriya wato kasar da ta karbi bakuncin wannan taro yayi karin bayani kan wannan shiri na tarayyar Afirka to shi wannan shiri gaskiya abu ne yazo daga su mutanen za mu ce AU Iva wata kunyi wata cibiya ce ta Afirkan Union wata take Kenya wata take kula da harkar dabbobi na Afirka suka zo da wannan dama kasashe wurin guda bakwai to aka zabi Najeriya za ta zama ita ce za a yi zakarin gudun dafi da ita za a bada duk wata dama a Najeriya domin duk yawancin dabbobin da suke zuwa ta shashin wasu Afirka din nan duk Najeriya suke kawo nan ne muke da babbar kasuwa inda za a samu dabbobi sama da miliyan 30 a Najeriya kuma muna neman yadda harkar kasuwancin yake tafiya insha Allah kuma za su zo don su inganta wannan shiri duk wannan shiri kuka yi danganin cewa an samu cin ma nasara a yanzu dai so fa abin da muke yi muna maganar shirye-shiryen ne yadda abun zai yi da kuma mutakin da za a dauka da kuma suwaye za a nema a ina ne za a yi amfani da shi kuma menene dalilin musabbobin yin wannan abu Muhammad Mujita Pamuktari director mai kula da abincin bisashe da bunkasa kiwo na Jamhuriyar Niger ya ce wannan shiri na bunkasa kasuwannin dabbobi na Afirka yana da mutukar muhimmanci saboda lalle bisashe daraja su fattar da muhimmanci sosai a yanda yanzu ake tafiya da aiki to tsarin wannan da aka yi na yanzu a tattara dukkan kasashen Afirka su zama bisa layi guda na yanda za su sai da bisashe shine babban muhimmanci tafiyar wannan aikin tunda za a yi abu bisa tsari ga baki daya akwai bada foro na yanda mutane za su fadinta su gane tafiyar da wannan aiki foron kuma zai kula da mu ma'aikata na gwamnati kuma zai kula da kungiyoyi na masu sai da bisashe kuma da masu kawo bisashe su ne kenan makiyaya duka za a ba su horo da yanda ya kamata su samu ruwan walkiwon da suke yi tsari na bi shine na za a yi kasuwoyi na zamani ita ma Halima Usman Yoman shugaban kungiyar matan fulani makiyaya ta rube fulbe global right development initiative tana cikin mahalar ta taron ta kuma bayyana farin ciki da wannan shiri Alhamdulillah za mu ji dadi in yadda ake so a sara wannan abu in dai har za a tafi da ita haka za ta mana daidai saboda ka gani zai taimaka mu yan uwan mu fulani sosai don lema mu mata ka ga mu ma za mu shiga sana'an insha Allah babban fatan da ake tayi game da wannan shiri na bunkasa kasuwannin dabbobi a nahiyar Afirka dai shine hukumomi da sauran masu ruwa da tsaki su yi tsayuwar daka wajen ganin an aiwatar da shi yadda ya kamata don dimbin jama'ar nahiyar su amfana da shi Abdul Salam Ibrahim Ahmed Sashan Hausa na BBC daga Abuja Nigeria to daga batun noman bari mu je fannin lafiya inda hukumar lafiya ta duniya ta bada rahoton cewa cutar taron fuka wato TB ta maye gurbin corona a matsayin babban cuta mai kisa a cikin shekarar 2021 a mutane sama da miliyan 10 ne suka kama da cutar kuma kusan miliyan 2 ne suka rasu babban barazana a yanzu ita ce yadda cutar ke ci gaba da bijirewa magani ga rahoton wakilin mu na Lagos Umar Shehu Alleman Rahoton da hukumar lafiya ta duniya ta fitar ya nuna a bara kadai kimanin mutum miliyan 8.2 ne aka samu sun kafa cutar tarin fuka 
bayan nayi sun nuna cewa har yanzu baton kawarda cutar tare poka a Bunida ya nuna cewa da sauran tafiya ga wake nan bisa lakari da cewa yaki da cutar na fuskantar kalubale kamar karancin kudaden tunkara cutar gadagadan a cikin rahoton Director General na hukumar ta WHO Dr Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus ya sheda wa manema labare cewa ba za a mince da barin cutar tare fuka ta yi kaka gida ba a lokacin da ake da kayan aiki na riga kafi don magance ta yayin da adadin wadanda suka mutu da cutar ya ragu zuwa miliyan 1.250 a shekara ta 2023 daga miliyan 1.320 a shekara ta 2022 amma kuma adadin mutanen da suka kabu da rashin lafiya daga wannan cutar ya dan karo zuwa miliyan 1.8 a shekara 2023 ana bukatar a kara za gidan tsaye bil haki da gaskiya don cima wasu kyawawan muradun da aka tsara nan da shekara ta 2027 kasashe masu karbin karfi da wadanda ke dauke da kashi ta inda takwas na yawan cutar suna fuskantar kalubale na karancin kudade a cikin shekara ta 2023 ta zarar da ke tsakanin kiyasi na adadin sabin cututukar da yaro zuwa kusan miliyan 2.7 kasa da cutar covid-19 na kusan miliyan 4 a cikin shekara ta 2020 da 2021 ta fitar da rahoton ne jin kadan bayan da jihar Lagos ta bullo da wani gagarumin shiri ne yake da bazuwar cutar tare fuka tare da kafaci biyo tantance mutane kyauta a fadin jihar da nufi dakile karuwar masu kamar cutar wadda ta kai mutu 32 Wararru kan harkokin lafiya sun yi nuni da cewa ana iya warkewa daga cutar tarin buka idan aka dauki matakar da suka dace cikin gaggawa sai dai duk da haka hukumar ta nuna damuwar ta yadda wasu kwayoyin cututukan tarin buka suke bijirewa ba gungura a wasu lokuta Omar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria to muna sheda masu sauraron mu cewa mitocin da ake samun mu a rediyo sun canza a wasu shirye-shiryen inda a shirin safe yanzu za a rika samun mu a mita 49 da 41 shirin hantsina na akan mitoci 31 da 25 shirin rana kuwa na na akan mita 13 da kuma 11 yayin da shirin dare ya koma akan mita 31 da 25 tafatan za a ci gaba da kasancewa tare da mu to yanzu kuma ga Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad da labarin wasu ni a takaice Sporting Lisbon Ruben Amorim ya bayyana a matsayin daya daga cikin masu horas wanda ke kan gaba a jerin sunayen wadanda za su iya mai gurbin Eric Ten Hag a Manchester United. Bisa la akari da haka ne tsohon golin kungiyar Peter Schmeichel ya bayyana cewa bai kamata United ta kara dauko wani kotu na kwankwariya ba inda yace dole ne ta dage kan dauko na dindindintin yanzu ba sai karshen kaka ba. Tsohon dan wasan da ya bayyana cewa coach Sporting Lisbon din zai matukar dacewa da Manchester United amma ba sai in har ya yadda zai karbi ragamar a yanzu. I mean he's doing fantastically well. And it's ce ba ganamin kokari yake yi ba. Har yanzu bai rashin nasara a league din su ba. Dole ne a warware wannan matsalar a yanzu. Kamata mu kara nada coaching wucin gaji ba. To har wayo da ya kammatun coaching na Manchester United wasu rahotanni sun kullo da ke cewa kungiyar na nazarin saki komawa ga tsohon coaching ta Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Kore Ten Hag da zai iya janyo United a sarar kusan 4 miliyan 17 a matsayin kudin sallama da za su biya shi. Kuma hakan na iya haifar da kungiyar ta koma zawarcin Solskjaer wanda bai samu aiki ba tun bayan da United ta sallame shi a wata Muhammad Jikara ta 2021. Kocin Manchester City Pep Guardiola ya ce dole ne za a yi amfani da ɗan wasan bangaren matasan kungiyar sa a wasan su na gasar Carabao da za a su kara da Tottenham da yammacin yau inda ya bayyana cewa yana da ɗan wasa da dama da kifa ma da rauni kuma akwai bukatar a hutar da waɗanda ke nan da lafiyar su saboda yawan wasannin da ake bugawa cikin lokaci kalilan ya gara da cewa yana fatan sabon gurzan kyautar Ballon d'Or Rodri zai murmure da garoni da kifa ma da shi kafin karshen wannan kakar duk da dai ya amince cewa hakan zai wuya to yanzu bari mu karkare da fagin wa san dambin boxing inda aka saki fara tattaunawa domin shirye dambe tsakanin Chris Ibank Jr da fitaccen dan dambin Mexico wato Canelo Alvarez bayan samun nasarar Ramon Gaya mai ban shi awakan Liam Smith a bara yanzu kuma ya karkata akalar sa zuwa babba abokin hamayar sa wato Canelo Alvarez mai wakiltan Ibank Jr Ben Shalom ya bayyana cewa an saki fara tattaunawa inda yace akwai yiwuwar cewa dambin zai gudana a cikin shekara mai zuwa to a gaishe da Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad sai ku biyo mu a shirye mu na hatsi domin jin cikakken labarin wasannin 
to za kuma ku iya zuwa shafin mu na bbchausa.com dan karanta labaran da muka wallafa muku akwai wani hali gidajen mai ke cikin Najeriya bayan raguwar masu ababen hawa akwai kuma gwamnatin Kano ta amince da biyan 1071 mafi kankantar albashi sannan kuma akwai yadda zaben Amerika zai iya sauya duniya babban labaran da ke shafin nama na cewa gwamnatin Arewa sun ce suna daukar matakan maganci matsalolin yankin arewacin Najeriya to a da dimba da masu Abdul Qadir Mukhtar wanda ya hada shirin da kuma Daniel Wachayi wanda ya hada mana sauti suna na rabe a takabarin ka daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC nake cewa sai nan da minti 30 insha Allah za mu sake kasancewa da ku akan mitoci 31 da kuma 25